Welcome to our drawing, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Site Codes and Patterns, Part 2. This drawing is continued from Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Site Codes and Patterns, Part 1. Let's look at partitions, calling search spaces, and translation patterns for internal dialing. For internal numbers, we'll have a single enterprise-wide internal partition named Internal Partition for both patterns and DNs with the format 8 plus site code plus extension. Each site X will have an internal partition X internal partition for internal dialing at site X using site abbreviated patterns. Enterprise 20 has 11 internal partitions. This is the configuration from the No Delayed Dialing Blocking Online's Class of Service solution. For internal calling search spaces, we'll have a single enterprise-wide calling search space named Enterprise Internal No 911 CSS, containing only the enterprise-wide internal partition, Internal Partition. Each site X will have a calling search space, X, Internal No 911 CSS, containing a site X, Internal Partition, for site abbreviated dialing at site X, and the enterprise-wide internal partition, Internal Partition. Enterprise 20 started with these sites in our background drawings. At the Toronto site, we had the TO Internal No 911 CSS. At the Hamilton site, the HA Internal No 911 CSS. And at the Winnipeg site, the WPG Internal No 911 CSS. The 10 site Enterprise 20 deployment has 11 internal calling search spaces. Here is the configuration from the no delayed dialing Blocking Online's Class of Service solution. Abbreviated dialing within sites is enabled using site internal translation patterns. We have a five digit pattern 57XXX for calls in Toronto in the Toronto internal partition. The translation pattern prefix is 8 and the site code 55 masks the caller ID to five digits and looks for the translated number in the Enterprise Internal No 911 calling search space. We have similar translation patterns for the Hamilton and Winnipeg sites. At each site, we would like to have the largest range to use for phantom numbers. Why wouldn't we? Phantom numbers are in the site code range, but not in the DID range. For example, for the HAL 696 site, 8696775-8X. These numbers correspond to the DID range. 8696XXXX, all numbers in Halifax site code range. Enterprise 20 changed the internal translation patterns to XXXX and XXXXX to get the largest range. But allowing 9 as the first digit of an extension causes problems with outside dial tone. We can't check provide outside dial tone for pattern XXXX or users will get outside dial tone when using site abbreviated dialing. To illustrate, we took the pattern XXXX in the HAL 696 internal partition and checked provide outside dial tone. We tried dialing 7751 from Halifax 6967752. Secondary dial tone kicks in here. After the first digit has been dialed and all possible match patterns have provide outside dial tone checked. This is confusing. If we don't check provide outside dial tone for pattern XXXX, then users will get outside dial tone at the wrong time when dialing external numbers. We took the pattern XXXX in the Halifax 696 internal partition and unchecked provide outside dial tone. We tried dialing 9902-238-0000 from Halifax 696-7752. Secondary dial tone doesn't kick in until here, after the fifth digit has been dialed and the XXXX pattern no longer matches. This is even worse. We also have post-dial delay. The DID range for Montreal site MTL57 is 
6, 0 to 1, XX. This site uses five-digit abbreviated dialing, so the internal number 85796001 would be dialed 96001. This number will be delayed by the seven-digit external pattern 9, 2 to 9, 0, 2 to 9, XXXXX. Delay will be experienced dialing 96001 from 96002. We have these problems with extensions starting with 9, whether the extensions are phantom numbers or in the DID range. We have another problem with 9 and site abbreviated dialing. Not all numbers in the DID range necessarily map to numbers we are willing to use for site abbreviated dialing. Question: Is this a valid number? 1-905-555-9911 and what do you think about using extension 9911? What about extensions starting with an 8? The DID range for Edmonton site EDM 810 is 7808 3XX. This site uses four digit site abbreviated dialing, so the internal number 8810-8301 would be dialed 8301. The current dial plan doesn't provide outside dial tone for dialing internal numbers, in this format 8-SSS-XXXX. That's because these numbers are configured as DNs. If you want outside dial tone at the 8, you can change the dial plan to route calls to internal numbers through a translation pattern 8-XXX-XXXX. This is not hard, but Enterprise 20 didn't do this. If you want outside dial tone at the 8, then you'll have outside dial tone issues when dialing abbreviated numbers 8XXX. We also have post dial delay, but not for very many calls. When dialing the internal number 8810-8301 using site abbreviated dialing 8301, there will only be a delay if there is a site with site code 301. We have no site code starting with 3, so in our case we'll never see a delay with the current deployment. But if we grow, we might have an issue. What should we do? None of our choices are great. Translate problem digits in the DID range to something else. Leave the numbers as is. Maybe site abbreviated dialing wasn't such a good idea after all. Leave the numbers as is, but if your extensions start with an 8 or a 9, no abbreviated dialing for you. Leave the numbers as is, but change the number of digits used for abbreviated dialing at that site. Clever suggestion from SRND9.x. Remember, the NANP is ancient. There's no perfect solution. You can translate the problem digits in the DID range to something else. We've done this for Enterprise 20 to illustrate the configuration. We translated the 8 for the Edmonton site to 6 and the 9 for the Montreal site to 3. This solves the problems but mangles 20% of our users' numbers. We really don't want to mangle so many numbers. We translated the problem digits in the DID range to illustrate how to do this, not because we thought this was the best solution. Here's another option. Leave the numbers as is. Maybe site abbreviated dialing wasn't such a good idea after all. Do we really need four and five digit abbreviated dialing? If people already dial this way, then probably yes. If no one does this, then probably no. The answer to this varies from enterprise to enterprise. If you don't configure site abbreviated dialing, then you don't need to worry about eights and nines. The CVD uses a uniform on net dial plan where there is no site abbreviated dialing. Here's another option. Leave the numbers as is, but if your extension starts with an 8 or a 9, then no site abbreviated dialing for you. We have 4 and 5 digit site abbreviated dialing, except where these patterns start with an 8 or 9. Our patterns look like this. No site abbreviated dialing starting with an 8 or a 9. The problem with this option? Users experience different behavior for different numbers when using abbreviated dialing. Some extensions can be called and some can't. 
what are you going to say to your users? Site abbreviated dialing for extensions starting with 8 or 9 is not supported because of overlap with internal and external dialing. Not the greatest thing to have to say, but not so bad either. It's important we keep what we have to say to users to a minimum. Here's another option. Leave the numbers as is, but change the number of digits used for abbreviated dialing at that site. Another clever suggestion from SRND9.x. With this solution, we could change the translation patterns. At the Edmonton 810 site, we could change the pattern from XXXX to 0XXXX. Internal numbers are 8, 310 XXXX. And at the Montreal 57 site, we could change the pattern from XXXXX to 7XXXXX. Internal numbers are 857XXXXX. We like this idea best if the numbers work out, but we're not sure the above is a great solution for Enterprise 20. We just reviewed a number of options for mapping numbers. Each option affects your users in different ways, and none of the options are difficult to implement. Pick one and move forward. In background drawings, we applied masks XXXX and XXXXX to make the calling party number look like an extension. We meant to get back to this sooner. Here is a call from Winnipeg 602-4002 to Winnipeg 602-4001 using site abbreviated dialing. At Winnipeg 602-4001, the call comes from extension 4002. If I dial that from Winnipeg 602-4001, then Winnipeg 602-4002 will ring. That's what we want. Let's look at call forwarding. First, at Winnipeg 602-4001, call forward all to Winnipeg 602-4002. Second, call Winnipeg 602-4001 from Hamilton 601-4002. We need to provide a calling search space to allow call forwarding. Then on Winnipeg 602-4001, forward all calls to 4002. Hit the Call Forward All soft key and dial 4002. This forwards calls to Winnipeg 602-4002. The icon shows us the line has been forwarded. Use the speed dial on Hamilton 601-4002 to dial Winnipeg 602-4001. The call will be forwarded to Winnipeg 602-4002. At Winnipeg 602-4002, the call seems to come from 4002, but that's our number at Winnipeg 602-4002. If we look in the missed call list on Winnipeg 602-4002, we see a call from Hamilton 601-4002. But if we return the call, we call ourselves. Let's try again, but with the calling party transform mask removed. The call comes from 86014002, which is Hamilton 6014002, what we would expect. We can return this call without problems. Using a mask to change the calling party number to a four or five digit extension is crazy talk. Leave the calling party transform mask blank for these patterns. We'll add offnet to onnet translation patterns so that calls placed to internal numbers using offnet long distance numbers will be translated to onnet calls. We have a pattern 914.1655.57xxx for translating long distance off net calls to Toronto on net calls. The pattern is in the internal partition. 
discards pre-dot, and looks for the translated number in the Toronto Internal Calling search space. We have similar translation patterns for the Hamilton and Winnipeg sites. Enterprise 20 finished with internal patterns by adding off-net to on-net translation patterns so that calls placed to internal numbers using off-net long-distance numbers will be translated to on-net calls. Be careful that these patterns exactly match the DID ranges at the sites, or some external numbers might become unreachable. For the site code mappings generated earlier for your enterprise, develop a mapping from the DID range to the internal range as shown in the table below for Enterprise 20. This table is from the Sites tab in the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Information Spreadsheet. For the site internal ranges generated in the earlier exercise, build a table for abbreviated dialing translation patterns as shown in the table below for Enterprise 20. This table is from the Translation Patterns tab in the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Information Spreadsheet. For the site internal ranges generated in the previous exercise and the DID ranges for your sites, build a table for off-net to on-net translation patterns as shown in the table below for Enterprise 20. This table is from the Translation Patterns tab in the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Information Spreadsheet. A final note on naming conventions. We would like to have aligned with the SRND and CVD naming conventions. For example, calling search spaces and partitions from the CVD. We decided not to. For English-speaking left-to-right readers, we believe the most important information should come first. The CSS and PAR prefixes above are not important at all. We always know this from context. We have to endlessly type these prefixes for searching using begins with and if you speak English, then internal partition is more natural than partition internal. We're not saying the CVD suggestions are bad. They are for global use by people of many languages. We are suggesting you give a little bit of thought to this before starting your own deployment. Coming up next, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Incoming Call Handling. Thanks for watching.